Hello friends, welcome to my channel Artaholic Revive. Throughout my life, I have experienced that each one of us is an artist in their particular area of interest, which may be photography, gardening, cooking, singing, dancing, painting, sketching, writing, talking with people and lot more. But the thing is that by the time somehow we have hidden this artist in the corner of our heart. Same thing happened with me as well. I used to do painting and lot of craft activities in my young age but then I just left the touch. But now I have started reviving my arts since a couple of years and believe me it's super exciting and mind relaxing to get involved with the activity for which we are highly passionate. So would you like to join me with the journey of reviving my arts? Come, let's revive the artist inside us. Friends, today I am going to paint this abstract Krishna painting. It's very beautiful and quite easy as well. So don't worry if you haven't holded a paintbrush since a long time. So let's get started. This are the canvas boards. This canvas boards are available in various uh, sizes. Uh, as per the type of painting, we can choose a specific size. Uh, here I am using 8 by 10 canvas for this particular painting and if you are a beginner you can go for canvas pad also. In this painting I am going to use Favicryl acrylic colors. I also use Fabrica camel colors. This both type of colors are good in quality. Once you are comfortable with painting you can choose artist acrylic colors as well. While painting with palette knives you have to go for these colors because they are good in consistency. This is a set of flat brushes. They are available in different sizes. I would suggest to have couple of brushes of different size and shape. Here I am using 8 by 10 size canvas and leaving equal space at both the sides and going to make a U shape for the face of Krishna. And I am pointing out the middle line of U shape. Once it's done, I am going to make the sketch of Krishna face. This is a palette knife which can be used for the final strokes in this painting. If you don't have this palette knife, you can also use simple butter knife which we are using in our kitchen. Now starting with the painting part, I am going to paint the background first.
now i am blending the two different shades of blue in acrylic painting blending of colors and merging it with each other is the most important part it should be merged evenly without any patches while painting a particular face eyes nose and lips this are the very sharp features and should be painted very carefully because this will enhance the overall look of your painting Now I am going to use a palette knife to make the final strokes.
friends you see that's the advantage of acrylic painting that you can make any type of corrections once your painting dries up so just try this and let me know in the comment section how your painting has come up and if you have enjoyed watching my video then please hit the like button and do subscribe my channel for more such videos see you next time till then keep reviving an artist inside you